Well, of course, um, you know, living for the classics, my, my favourite climbs are always in the classics. So my, the mystique of the Koppenberg was always one, and, and that was exaggerated by the fact that when I turned professional, the, the Koppenberg was out of the races because it was deemed too hard. So, you know, if, if as a classic specialist guy that wants to do the hardest, most brutal climbs of the world, it was always one I dreamt of doing. And fortunately, before the end of my career, they reinstated it back into Tour of Flanders, so I got to, got to do it. Um, it's, it's, there's a few factors. Obviously, it's um, it, you know it, it, climbs are always harder just because of where they lay in the race. So for me, it's a point in the race of Tour of Flanders where you take over from the guys that are there to help to the guys that really start riding the final. So, and and the fact that it's so steep and the condition of it, the water running off it makes it slippery. And there's no there's no uh, escape routes. The sides of the climb are so steep that if there's a problem on it, you have to be in the front, otherwise you're walking. And uh, you know that's the thing is if you have to ride into the bottom of it really fast to make sure you have the position, then you've got to survive the climb. So it's it's a, it's a, a few factors: the position in the race, the approach to the race, and how it's ridden is is what makes the climb so difficult. Um, no, generally, uh, to me, it's, it's not just about the cobblestones on the climb. Yes, if you're a, a sportive rider riding up the climb, then yes, it's always going to make it harder because you can't stand up, you can't fight the bike. So, you know, but it, for us, it's more, it's, it's just that the cobbles make it a different way of riding. It makes it more exaggerated as a climb for us on their approach. So the approach to a cobble climb is, is absolutely crazy for 10K before it. And then that makes the climb harder because you already come there with a heart rate of 190 at the bottom. And then you have to start the climb so quite often for me the cobble climbs are about trying to do it in a way where you don't kill yourself you know you're almost just recovering rather than rather than racing the climb because you've already done the race to get there <laughs>